Well, there you are. <clears throat> We've got another talking technical ahead of us, and um, I'm flooded with requests, so I'm going to carry on straight away. Um, there's a lot of emails that come through. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the first one that I would like to tackle is Solly's request of Pick and Pay. Now, Pick and Pay, like all the food retailers, are really surprised everybody with some wonderful rallies. Now, if you look at this, I mean, since the 2nd of August, from 50 Rand to 59 Rand, just showing you that there is some fireworks here. The big thing that I would like to, and I remind every week, every second week I remind about it, the NASDAQ and the S&P 500 is flying, and all the other indexes are really in two minds. They do not know if they can make new highs, and I'm 100% sure if the S&P and the NASDAQ comes under pressure, we can see a lot of these shares come under pressure out of sympathy because some of them had some wonderful rallies. I mean, from 50 Rand to 59 Rand, Solly, beautiful rally. <clears throat> and what I would like to show you, Solly, is this little candle here. This, almost you can say, this shooting star candle. That makes me a little bit nervous. The real body is a little bit big for a shooting star. But you can see immediately it's follow up with some... Um, like a doji there or a spinning candle there, a beautiful um, dragonfly candle, then followed up with a bullish candle. So everybody's just so positive about it. But what I do see is May 31st, there was also close to these levels high. So I will say if you want to chase it, I think you're really a little bit too late to chase it. But for me, I will keep my eye on that um, shooting star candle that I just showed you. There you are, there's that shooting star candle of the upper shadow or the long upper shadow. And for me, it will only disappear or the nervousness will be disappearing at 60 Rand. While it's below 60 Rand, I will worry about this candle. And of course, if it drops below the low of that candle, 56.34, we can easily see that it can pay comes under pressure. And the big thing here is that it can come under pressure because we've got a possible double now, of course, that double top, I would like to show you where that double top will only kick in. That double top, of course, will only kick in if, if the low of this candle, there you are, can be taken out. Then you know that the double top formation is in the play and it can take the share all the way down to 44, 43 Rand. But that's almost unrealistic at this point in time in the market because everything just goes up. But for the short term, if it goes below 56.34, if you have got the stock, maybe then, and if you are a short-term trader, maybe say it's time to lock in some profits. Well, let's go and have a look at Growth Point. And I see that some of the, the, the uh, property stocks slowly but surely find some support. and People are starting to buy them and believe that, that they are good dividend payers. And I mean, in middle of July, we all had a fright of the looting and we were worried about it and um, everybody is starting to go back into them. The only thing that worries me, and if it, there's a little bit of a skew neckline here, that I just would like to show. And there you are. Ne uh, yes, Nelly asked about uh, growth point. Now, if you look at this, Nelly, what do we see here? We see a head and shoulder formation. There's a little bit of a skew um, neckline, and I know a lot of you will remember Dr. Clive Roffey. He was always 100% sure if you get the skew um, neckline, it's not of that importance. Then usually he will say, no, it's a little bit um, dicey. But um, of course, he's maybe right. I always also like a 100% um, horizontal one. But in this case, you can see a clear left shoulder there. There's the left shoulder. There's the head, upper head. And we're working on the right shoulder. And where's the neckline? The neckline support is sitting at 1487. Now, if it breaks below 1487, what can we expect? We can actually expect that the share can either work all the way to the downside. I'm just going to project it all the way down to that level of 1343. But on the other hand, the conservative target will be the right shoulder to the neckline. There you are. Uh, sorry, there's the neckline. just want to draw that. There you are. And if I project that downwards, you can take it down to, there you are, 14 Rand. And where will the right shoulder be wiped off the table? The moment we see this, this share moving about the top of that right shoulder, and that's at 15.73, this head and shoulder formation will be wiped off the table. And then we think that it can still go a little bit higher. Now, the big question is, do you buy it? 
And the big thing is, I will say I'll rather wait for this neckline, be tested and see if it can be main support. If it gets to the support line and it bounces off there, there's a good chance that it can move higher because look at this skew neckline. So it can carry on moving higher and maybe eventually wipe the head and shoulder formation off the table. On the other hand, the, if you are a momentum trader, you can do the following. You can say, all right, we're going to see that this right shoulder will be wiped off the table. There you are. Top of that candle will be, there you are. Top of that candle will be at 1574 and the moment the share goes above 1574 you say okay this head and shoulder will be wiped off the table and i will chase it so in the case that you buy the top of the right shoulder my stop loss will be at 15 rand and if you buy it at the neckline my stop loss will be the low of that candle and that will be 14 rand and 62 and of course what's my target above that right shoulder will be the top of that candle and that is sitting at 16 rand and 10 cents Look at Steinoff. My friend Martin, he is a keen viewer of Talking Technical. <clears throat> and he said, listen, I wanted to buy the stock at 1.64. I haven't had money then, but the other day I chased it and I bought it. And is he a happy man? Now, he, he's in two minds now. He wants to know if he can lock in some profit. Now, look at this phenomenal run. I mean... From the first week in August, from 163, that's probably where he wanted to buy it when that breakout took place. It went all the way up to 360. But what I want to show you is look at this breakaway gap here. Now, the big thing with this gap is quite important. Let's have a look. I just want to draw it in there. There's the low of that handle. Let's do it. There you are. And let's do the other one, and then you will see what I want to illustrate to you. Although the, the share is performing extremely well, what do we see here? We see the day of the, what's that day, of the 30th of August, it had a beautiful rally, but there's a tiny shadow there. All right. Then we've got this gap. This gap sits between 2.92 and the low of that candle is 306 but there's another upper shadow and my message to all of you is when you see these gaps breaking up you see some upper shadows or lower shadows just take note of that we've always got the the, the idea that we say no they're not true but that's the informed capital the informed capital is telling you although we had this beautiful rally there were some sellers around here Maybe they are just happy to sell even at a higher price. So at the moment, I will not buy it. I'll wait for this either this gap to close, and that will close at 292, and then maybe I can buy it again. But once again, I mean a rally from about 160 to 360 in a matter of let's say 10 or 11 trading days is a phenomenal um, movement. So at the moment, I mean especially if it takes up the high out there, and that's above 361, we can maybe see. Steinoff and in Afrikaans we will talk the circular, the dark of the market, maybe back beforehand. Well, let's have a look at Goldfields. Mavis wants to know about Goldfields. She says she is sick and tired of all the all the um, gold shares. They just don't want to do anything. She says, listen, I'm buying them, then I take a stop loss, then I'm waiting, then I get back into them, but they do not um, at all benefit my portfolio. They're just taking money or they're just so reluctant they don't want to go even higher. So let's have a look here. If we look at gold fields here, I like the chart. And Mavis, look at it. There's a possible double top here, but a double bottom here. What is the important thing here? The important thing here it needs to break above this line. And that's maybe why they're testing your, your um, you can almost say your patience, because this double bottom is still in the making. And what do we see? When it rallies, there's always a little bit of a pullback. So yes, if you do have it, then maybe just hold on to it. But on the other hand, if it breaks above this line and the top of that candle, that's 148.07, then I think this double bottom can come into play. And why am I positive about the share? Just have a look here. If I draw that in there, it's the from the low of the of the shares to the neckline of that double bottom. 
let's see where it can go to. And the moment you see that, you will say, Franz, I can understand why you're all so happy about it. And the reason why, can you see, there's a tiny little, little gap. Let I just illustrate it. Because remember, this program is also to teach people to apply technical analysis to make better decisions. And um, let's just draw that in. And the moment I do that, you will see straight away where the share can head and maybe reach for that target. There you are. There's the tiny little gap. Just want to zoom it out a little bit. You can see it there. There you are. And that gap sits between 162.69 it will close at 163.42. So yes, if this double bottom comes into play, I will say maybe you can close that gap. On the other hand, if you do not have the stock and you want to buy it, it's maybe better to buy it only above there and maybe use this candle as your stop loss. And you see I'm talking about maybe a stop loss. And the reason why I'm saying that is remember a stop loss is always part of your risk profile strategy. Now, if you've got a, a tiny risk and you don't want to take a lot of risk, you can use the stop loss of 143.25 if you did buy it above 148.07. And of course, a lot of the other gold shares almost works on bottom here. It looks like they want to find their feet. They're not 100% sure of going up. But if I look at this chart, double bottom, time to maybe work through it, head to maybe a candle, a, a gap here. It looks to me, it's a positive chart, but of course, it mustn't go below 124.88 and all the positivity is just gone. Well, visit our website www.franceclair.com for more info on shares and we will chat again.